There are few people in my life who bring the kind of determination, relentless pursuit of a goal, and a completely personal connection with those people that they're engaging with than Wendy and Sergio. They work great together as a team and they have this ability to motivate others. They're just so complementary to each other. Well, I can't think of two people that I have more admiration for than Wendy and Serge. And Big Sisters is an organization that really represents the values, um, the behaviors, the views that uh, Wendy and Serge manifest in their day-to-day -day activities, both personally and professionally. Wendy and Sergio have a style of mentoring that is very subtle. Um, they encourage people, they give you advice and, and information uh, in a very, very calm and, uh, and general way and they let you know that they're always there if you have a question or if you need additional help or there's something that you don't understand and want, want to walk it through with them. They've really shown their support in empowering women and you know I work in the spa industry which is mainly women but they've definitely provided me so much guidance and uh, you know education throughout and really showing and leading by example. In fact their center, the Pacific Autism Family Center, is really about mentorship in a way because they have so many aspects of learning throughout it. Well, Wendy is not only a leader in the community and the business community, but also at the community at large. She's involved in so many different organizations. I could tell you a few, but I wouldn't even be able to tell you all of them because there's just, the list is almost endless. Often you get people that are big visionaries, that lack the follow through, and you get some people that are great at execution, but don't have necessarily the vision capacity to be able to make big ideas come to fruition. And so the consequence is she marries both of those things together. And I think if she would say, she probably just needs a few more hours in the day and she'd probably get a few more things done. It's sometimes hard to find that balance between um, family and work, and they've done that. Pretty sure they have three hours more than anybody else in their day. They are successful business leaders uh, in, in several businesses. They are successful and active community leaders in non-government organizations and charities and so on. They can be working on 10, 15, 20 initiatives simultaneously to think about what they do in any given day, plus caring for their son Roy, plus innovating for the center. It's astonishing to me. She chooses to take on all these extra activities to make Vancouver a better place to live, and I really admire that in her. I think people see a lot of their success in their business work and their work in the charitable community, um, but what you don't see is how they genuinely care about the people they work with and um, the broader community that they're working in. What I admire most about Sergio is the way he treats people um, who are different than him. He takes the time to listen to people and he takes the time to really talk and and just makes time for everybody. One time we had a young man in program, so it was having a really difficult day, so he was kind of on the verge of a, a meltdown, and several of our staff had gone to um, try to talk him down of that. Um, and Sergio just happened to be in the area and came in and uh, asked the young man to come out and go for a walk. And at the end of their time together, um, the young man asked Sergio for a hug, which was such a big deal because this guy hated being touched um, and is not affectionate in that way. And it just shows um, the time and and heart that they put into their work that others don't get to see. The founding of the Pacific Autism Family Centre is just one of many examples, but it's a, it's a huge contribution to the community and to many families who've, um, who need the kind of support that the centre is able to offer. Five or six years ago, there was a very small group of Canadians who understood what it meant to live with autism, and those were people who were living with autism in their families. Her ability to help others understand what that's like is actually a movement that has spread across the entire country. More and more we understand uh, how important it is for us to work with support and help these families and we realize more and more the very special contribution that these families and their children are making to Canada and it's all because of Wendy. Wendy and Sergio have done it all. That's true. That's absolutely true. Three words I'd pick to describe them would be we smart, dedicated, and loyal. Caring. Authentic. Relentlessly determined. Passionate. A really great friend. Gee, that's tough. I would say driven, compassionate, and thoughtful. If I had three words to describe Sergio, they would be inclusive, 
respectful and Hawaiian because he likes to wear Hawaiian shirts. Definitely kind, uh, patient, and uh, yeah, determined. Picking three words were just not enough because they're also compassionate and they're also honest and they're also like ambitious and it's like all those things are just great. What Sergio stands for and what Wendy stands for is just including everybody, no matter if you're young, if you're a minority group, if you have a disability, if you're a girl, no matter what, he just includes people and takes time to listen to them. And I think that if other people follow his lead, then society would be a better place. I look at the shining light that Wendy and Sergio give to the young women of British Columbia and, and the young women in Canada. I'm so happy that Big Sisters is recognizing that. For Wendy and Sergio, for all of us who know them, and for the young women across British Columbia who are gonna benefit from all that they do.